So to join this and this one, you just need to do this shortcut Ctrl J. You click on this and you click on this. Press your shift down and click on this, then you press Ctrl J and realize that they are now a single object. So that's the first objective of this video. You have successfully joined these two circuit objects together. And if you go to your edit mode, you see that you can edit both of them as objects in a single object space. So what I want to do is I want to clear this. I want to join this space and I want to join this space together, which means I'm joining these edges and these edges together. To do that, let me remove the faces first so that I don't have problems doing that. So now what I need to do is I need to, you know, connect all this, connect all this, then the shortcut is Ctrl H. So you see, a part of all these options, if you want to achieve that, what you need to do is to reach edge width. So when you reach edge width, this is what comes out here. So you have all these parameters here, match, match factor twist, number of cuts. So what I want to do is to make this one look like I'm joining them properly because like what I want to accomplish is to have something like a pipe. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to increase the number of cuts. Let me increase the number of cuts to like 15. So, so once I increase the number of cuts, what it does is that it makes this that um, this joint section into a kind of curve. So the number, the higher the number of cuts you have, the more the curvature. You know, you can also adjust the smoothness. You know, this one let's say right, right here is 0 0.5. You can make it one. You can make it one. You see that it affects the geometry of your joint of your joints. So uh, I think I prefer this 0 0.5. It looks more like a pipe zone. And when you go to your, when you tap to your object mode you have this have this looking good 